What's going on guys, it's D12303 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the long-awaited Halo 4 Limited Edition. So without any further ado, I'm going to get down straight to it. So right now, I got uh, some kind of sort of game add-on right here, I'm not sure what that is, but I also got this um, Arctic Weapon skin and all that stuff, and the codes are on the back and everything, so, so on and so forth. And I absolutely am amazed by the casing, like, here's what the back looks like, uh, the Reclaimer Saga begins, here's all the content that's included, and forward onto Dawn, I'm not too sure if that's included, but, uh, it all looks freaking awesome from this point on, and I can't wait to test it out, and such and such, so, uh, let's get down to it. And because I was at work all day today, I just, this game was antagonizing me. I just, I could not freaking wait to get it home. You know what? Give me one second. I'll uh, do this on another slide. Alright, so both after three and a half minutes of trying to get that freaking plastic done, because it was like, ah, uh, never mind. It's frustrating. Anyway, um, let's see how well this is easy to take apart. So that part seems easy. Not too bad. And yeah, this part looks like a cover that just flips over. So like that, and I'm pretty sure this white piece here is where the game case is. Yep. Because this looks uh, very similar to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 case that I got. Uh, which includes nothing but the disc itself and the instruction manual. Um, let's see here. Ooh. Oh, what's this here? Oh, that's cool. You seen that? That's freaking neat, yo. Anyway, uh, let's take this disc. Uh, now I'm not too sure if this uh, disc here looks exactly the same as if you were to get the uh, standard edition or standard copy of Halo 4. But this is what the disc looks like. So on and so forth. So that's that. Now I'm not too sure, based upon uh, 343, as they're going to be the only ones uh, um, responsible for making more Halo games and I'm pretty sure that the one that Frank O'Connor mentioned, mentioned was um, the Reclaimer trilogy and I'm not too sure if Halo 5 and 6 which I heard was announced but I'm not too sure yet because well they just released this game so we gotta give them some time to retaliate and see what uh, kind of projects they got in mind and let's just see what the end of the story of this um, takes place and see if maybe it might lead on to a different story who knows but that's that So, that, that set aside, what else is in here? It's like a freaking mystery. Okay, so here we got a packaging of... Oh! This must be, um... Like, as you've seen on the back of this uh, cover here, I'm pretty sure that uh, this, that right there, is what an outline of what the Master Chief will initially look like. So, let's see here. I had no idea what that is, but I'll give that to a different part of the video. And I'm pretty sure this here is a, um, a map out of what the new chief looks like. Like, not, sorry, not the guy himself, but the new armor. Unless this is something much bigger than I anticipated. Nope, here it is. So here we go. Okay, this is not the Master Chief as I thought it was. It's the Spartan Gabriel Thorn. I never heard of that. But it seems to be some kind of um, character that has to involve an online multiplayer. I'm not sure. The armor all looks the same here except for the helmet. And Oh, that's another thing I want to ask, the, want to ask you guys too. What do you guys think of the new uh, Master Chief look? I know... If, uh, that many be like, well, what do you mean? Like, he, he looks the same. Well, that may be true, but there's been major modifications been made to his uh, his suit now. So, he doesn't look like the Chief like he did from Halo 3. Yes, he may be the same color, but it's like he's been, I don't know, darkened like, uh, to a darker green or something like that. But I can actually compare this to the Halo 3 case, and I'll get that here in a moment. Because it's, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, do a... Um, comparancy by looking at the cover and not looking at the cover from Halo 3 and giving a side-by-side -side comparison. So, I do not know what this is. Oh, it says here. 
Give me one second. This is the most fanciest card for accessing a code that I've ever seen. It's freaking light materials. I'm gonna cover this. But yeah, this is uh, DLC cards. They are very fancy with this too. Instructions. Uh, this here is for. Wow, much more than well. It, all the contents are listed on the back. I just never really paid attention to what they were, but I thought it'd be like, oh, and you get a cryo tube avatar prop. Uh, Spartan 4 recruit avatar armor. I've already got the Master Chief armor, so that kind of um, kind of replaces what they've offered me here, but I'll take that in consideration. Um, and a 14 day Xbox Live Gold trial, which will come very handy in uh, difficult situations, but yeah. So that's that. I like the way the art looks too, so very special. And just Xbox customer support looks like from there. And what else what else is in this box here? Oh, something a little bit more. I think this might be concept art, who knows? Oh, it looks like I'm running out of time. But I'll uh, catch you guys later and as always, if you enjoyed it. Sorry about that rude interruption, I just found out that uh, this previous video that I recorded took up most of my storage capacity, so my uh, my storage capacity ran out, but anyway, let's carry on from where we last left off, and that was looking through this thing. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't feel like ripping it open right now. Um, yeah, just gonna leave that behind for now. And whatever this is, I'm not sure, but it's like a little book covering of some sort. Has infinity on it, so let's see here. What the hell is this anyway? Oh, what's this? Thorn, still looking warm, but I. Oh, it seems to be some kind of like postcard or something like that. And I have absolutely no idea what this is, except for it's a light. Oh, wait, no, this, this is folded. Or happens to be anyway. Oh, what's this? War game session summary. Okay, whatever that may be, I'm not really interested. But uh, I like this uh, message it's got. On. Wait a second, is this what I think it is? Oh, okay. Oh, it's like an art book. Well, that's gonna probably take freaking forever to get through, so I'm not gonna really go through that with you guys. You can do that if you got the uh, limited edition uh, set or something like that. Um. Anything else in here? Or is that it? Nope, that's all there is for now. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. And as always, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. And or subscribe to my uh, other channel for more content. As I know this one has become more dull and broad that I haven't uploaded much. But trying to find out what to upload without, you know, uh, kind of you know, repeating the same review over and over that people have already done. But until then, um...